Well, a quick video of uh, today's progress on the Penobscot 14. We uh, cut up a couple of pieces of cypress, took a board that was uh, 12 inches wide, made a pattern for the uh, this little cap that covers the breast hook, traced it out, cut the pieces out first, then ran it through the planer about 8 million times, got it down to a 5 16th thickness and then fastened it with Jamestown Distributors Total Boat Thickened Epoxy, also known as Thick So. Then we started working on the uh, next section of the rail cap. Traced out one side, made it kind of big, so we had uh, excess to trim off. Cut it down a little bit. Uh, fastened this side. We'll have to come back and hit it with the router to get this edge trimmed off, that edge trimmed off. Made a little bird's mouth uh, joint there. First one we've done on that. So this one's uh, drying. We'll take the jigsaw and cut the excess down just inside, just outside of where the rub rail is. And then we'll come back, hit it with the router with a little 1 8 inch round over bit and uh, take it down and so when we're done it's going to look like this we'll just round over on both sides uh, the design has it leaving a little quarter inch uh, bump there i don't know that we would like that it might kind of poke us in the back when we're leaning back and relaxing but this one uh, we'll need to order more thick so so we can uh, fasten it down this is the second one i found out it's going to be easier to trim it first to fit and then uh, glue it down versus gluing it first, then trimming it. So that section goes back to the first uh, station of Orlocks. We'll make a middle section, and then we'll make the aft section. And once we get everything fit, we're going to come back in with belt sander, kind of put a little dome on that, take it down to this 5 16th inch thickness here, let it rise up a little bit, then come back down. So I mentioned before we took, made a pattern, cut the curve, which left us with a one inch thick uh, board. That's way more than we needed. So we turned it on its side and ran it through the table saw, cut it right down the middle. That left us with about seven sixteenths and ran it through the planer half a million times to get it down to the five sixteenths thickness. A little belt sander action today. I used the um, oscillating tool, that DeWalt uh, thing over there, to uh, cut some of these little pieces here, just make a plunge cut, then that leave that little peak on there. And we'll see how it turns out. We're liking it so far. So, I, think, I don't know, it's one of those days where just about every tool was pulled out. We got everything back in the shop now. Wagon and had to go get the skipper her uh, captain's chair so she could uh, be out here and supervise when she was running around doing two million other things. There's the remnants of lunch and the afternoon coffee. And uh, Ray leaves the table to cut, make a few cuts today. That was kind of fun. So that's about it for tonight. That here, small boat restoration. Our family hobby adventure. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all having a great evening.